So that's what we're doing now. We were able to secure a really nice camp spot. We got a little uh, fire here, fire ring going. We're going to collect some wood and then pretty good view of the lake, even though it's pretty, still pretty foggy. But uh, right now we're just going to set up camp, get things set up, and then uh, start thinking about dinner. All right, so camp is set up. Here's the tent. Got a little vestibule here, which I like. Keeps rain off of things. I can probably I can stick my pack under here. Um, got a little uh, waterproof cover on the pack as well. Just a one person tent, super light, super simple to set up, freestanding. I believe this is the Half Dome One Plus. So there's just like a little bit of extra space in there. Um, got some stuff I can hang from up top. Rain flies a little bit optional. The bag is super old. But this thing I was talking about earlier, the X-Ped, this is super comfortable. Probably the most comfortable thing I've ever slept on for camping. Really thick, adds up a little bit of extra warmth, but definitely adds a little bit of extra weight. So camp is set up. And now it is time to go collect firewood. This is going to be cold, Pat. Yeah. This is much needed after the swim. I'm freezing. Wow. I already feel better. I tried to make it out to this island that's out there and uh, got about three quarters of the way and realized there was nothing I could grab onto to get up onto the island. So turned around and came back. Five cards each. Okay. Well, I see what you're saying. Trump I, if, if I threw a non-Trump yes. suit, you have to follow suit, yes. but I'm going to win the hand because it's an ace. Yeah. Hearts. My ace of hearts doesn't beat your queen of clubs. I would have to come up with a, a club. <laughs> a club that could beat your. Okay. Club. Feel good you beat a novice? What's that? Feel good you beat a novice? No. Okay. Now I have to discard one. Right? Yes. That I think is rubbish. And you don't want to show me. It's not that one, so don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> oh, did you even shuffle? I shuffled them very well. Yeah. I was happy. Pretty sure you cheated. I was <laughs> pretty sure I didn't see a deal. I didn't see a shuffle. I was tending to the fire. Yeah, see? They're, they're great for you. One trick. Yeah. It's 20%, though. What did you call that on? I had a sign. How many? <laughs> All right, so if this is something that you are looking to do, if you're looking to go on a backpacking trip, hiking trip, you've never been on one, or you're looking to uh, get back into it, there's a couple different ways that you can prepare or train for the demands that are going to come about from backpacking with a 20 to 40 pound pack on, right? There are some specific things that you can do. Um, to make sure that you are ready and as prepared that you can be. And we're going to go over those right now, show you guys some reps um, and exercises and the frequency that you'd want to do them in a week to prep yourself for your first backpacking trip. First things first, you got to know the demands. You got to know what the demands are of the hike, right? So for Pat and I, we knew that we were going to go uh, roughly 10 miles round trip, give or take a couple miles here or there, uh, five miles out, five miles back with 1,500 to maybe 2,000 feet of elevation gain, somewhere around in there, um, with a very steep ascent in the last mile. So in our last mile, we also knew that we had about 1,000 feet of elevation gain in one mile, which is a lot of walking uphill and a very aggressive uphill demand. So once you can kind of get those numbers, now we can kind of take a look at 
what do I need to do to prep for that? So we know the weight of the pack is probably going to be between 20 and 40 pounds. We know the distance of the trip is going to be about 10 miles round trip, so five miles a day roughly. And then we know the elevation gain, both ascent and descent that we need to prepare for. Second thing we want to talk about, or the first kind of exercise that you can do, is rucking. And that's as simple as putting the pack weight on your back and covering the distance that you are expected to cover on your hike. Um, you don't have to get really, um, you don't have to get really wrapped up in the elevation gain and descent just yet. But just the fact of you're going to put the pack on your back and you're going to wear it for, for in our scenario, five miles. You're going to go for a five mile walk with the pack on. You're going to understand how it feels on your back with the exact same load that you would predict or you're planning on using for your trip, right? Uh, the reason we want to do this, we're just going to build up some stamina, some muscular endurance in your legs. Um, it sounds simple for most of you who have been CrossFitters, you know how to deal with five minutes of pain, 20 minutes of Cindy, those kind of things where you're pushing yourself really tough and you're dealing with that lactic acid burn. That is not what the experience is going to be when you go on a hike or you go rucking or anything like that, right? So you want to build up those muscle fibers, your joints, all those different things to know what it's like to carry that load for that distance. So the first thing you can do is load up that pack to the demand weight and get out there for the distance that you need to cover. Getting into some more specific movement patterns, the uh, lunge and the step up are gonna be two of the biggest ones that you can train to prepare yourself for any kind of hike, backpacking trip, or outdoor activity. Um, most of the time when you're walking around, it's, I mean, obviously it's all a lot of single leg movements and a lot of walking up and down steps. And don't negate the down, don't ignore that. But first we're just gonna talk about uh, step up. So I could use the example of a thousand feet of elevation gain to 1500 feet of elevation gain and wearing your pack and then stepping up onto a 24 inch box. So if we're going to gain that amount of elevation, obviously that's going to be between 500 and 750 step ups, which is a lot, but you would be surprised at how quickly you could accomplish that task. And I'm not saying that you just have to jump into 500 to 750, but that should be your goal to accumulate in one day at some point right before you go on your hike if you really want to be prepared so break that, those numbers down even more 500 to 750 we can knock that out in three to four days where we're breaking those up into uh, 100 step up chunks 50 50 step up chunks and and don't just use 24 inches don't just use don't obviously probably not a lot of people are going to do a 30 inch box but don't hesitate to drop it down to a 20 inch box as well and, and accrue more step ups it might not feel very high for some people but in reality, when you're hiking, you're not going to be making these huge, large, broad steps, right? You're going to be making tiny steps constantly uphill, right? So if you don't have a hill accessible, you can only get to the gym and you really want to prep for it, add 50 to 100 before you start your workout even, right? It's not something you really have to warm up for. Slap a pack on, grab some dumbbells, throw them on your shoulders, and do 50 to 100 step ups. And I'm saying you're going to do that uh, three to four times a week. So the second top exercise that I would recommend is some ankle strengthening uh, movements. And you're gonna get that a little bit from doing your step ups, going on your hikes, wearing the pack, all that good stuff. But I would really recommend you grab a band and you can perform some specific movements that are gonna strengthen all the muscles, all the, all the tendons, everything kind of down and around that ankle joint um, because you're gonna be probably gonna be hiking on uneven terrain. With a loaded pack, you wanna prepare your ankles and, and those smaller joints and everything down and around the foot for the demand that's gonna come. All you need is a simple band. I've got a green one here. We can use a blue or a red. All you're gonna do is loop it around the forefoot. Let your uh, foot dorsiflex all the way up and then you're just gonna push down and rep out between 30 and 50 reps on uh, basically dorsi and plantar flexion, right? And so all we're doing there, again, strengthening your calf, your Achilles, as well as uh, some of the extra joints and everything down there by the ankle. All right, so for all of these exercises, all these movements, you should probably be doing these things between three and four times a week, and you definitely don't want to only be doing them the week before your trip, right? You have to think in terms of months when you're going to prepare for a specific task or a new demand that your body isn't ready for. So I would start as early as two months before your trip. You're going to start implementing all these things that we just talked about in the video three to four times a week. So that's putting the pack on, going the distance. Uh, I would limit that actually to maybe two times per week, something around there, if you can get the extra time in to do that. Um, the step ups, the ankle stre uh, strengthening, lunges, all with a loaded pack with dumbbells, all those different things. I would incorporate those into your training sessions three to four days a week. 
increase the load, decrease the reps with heavier weight, uh, do more reps with lighter weight, even lighter weight than your pack, just get more reps in. And at some point after about six weeks where you're still about another three to four weeks away from your actual hike, do some kind of test where you're gonna be able to test yourself and be able to try to pull off those 500 to 750 step ups for time. Put yourself through a simulation that can get yourself close to that. I know before I did the hike with Pat, it had been a while since I'd, I'd gone out on a backpacking trip and gone on some unstable ground and carried a pack for any distance. So I did the workout Chad, thousand step ups for time with a 45 pound pack on, right? And that was able to prep my legs a little bit and I gave him plenty of time to recover, but get ready for the demand that was coming to me. Know that I'd be prepared to have a good time, be able to keep up with Pat on the hike and uh, overall just be ready for what I needed to do. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you've got more questions about any of the uh, camping stuff that we did or any, any way in which you can train for it, uh, go ahead and throw it down in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on those notifications.